Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Legacy. We are here with the Lambert family, and um, I was looking at the rules today um, for my legacy, and unfortunately, Miss Catalina will not be able to be the heir because it has to be a baby boy. Um, so, Brady and Caitlin better get ready because they're going to have another baby. Um, I did write down mom and dad's uh, traits so that when the baby ages, we'll know the traits because we have to do the uh, randomization on the webs. Um, he needs to reach level 10 in the fitness skill, and that will, I think, be the end of his um, his aspiration. And he is at a level 5 in the astronaut career, so he's doing okay. He does need to get one more level in the logic skill, which we can do soonish. Um, but the baby's sleeping, mom's sleeping, so I'm going to speed up while he just punches at this thing. He ain't got nothing better to do with his life. All right. Um, why don't you go ahead and take care of the baby real quick? Just go ahead and bottle feed her. Go ahead and bounce her. Go ahead and coo at her and cuddle her and make a silly face and rock. And then you can go ahead and change that diaper. It may not need to be changed. But you know what? It's fine. It does help you with your relationship with um with her. And your relationship with your wife is like maxed. It's crazy cool. Alright, and how close is she to getting up? Um, she's actually ready to get up now. So I'm gonna go ahead and let her use this. She's gonna go ahead and take a shower. And uh let's see what's in here. Uh we've got some eggs and toast. It's three in the afternoon, lady. Um, go ahead and eat some of that cake. Take a piece of that cake. It's like a piece of the cake. I need to expand on their house. It would be nice, though, to get a um, um, chess table so he could build his logic skill. Um, she doesn't have a job, and that is okay. Read to a child with, for two total hours. Socialize with your child ten times. The reason I'm not going to get her a job is, well, you know what? It would be fine if she wanted to get one, but she doesn't really want to. All right, you can go ahead and invite this lady in. I don't even care. Brady's, like, all about the baby. He doesn't even care about the person at the door. He's like, forget it. Forget it. We don't need them. <laughs> oh, they're good friends. Yay. He wants to buy a workout machine. The only thing I could think of that we could buy is, like, the actual, like, strength training one. So we could do that. You want to buy a pool as well, and you want to call someone on the phone. Mmm... I'm not really worried about that. I'm going to have you come out here and box a little bit more. Since the baby is taken care of... Oh, no, she's not. Forget it. You changed the diaper a little bit too early. All right. And then go ahead and cuddle her again. And then go ahead and box. That takes care of her. And mom is doing this. She wants to get to know Jem. So maybe we should invite Jem over. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Where's Jem? Do you even know Jem? Oh, right here. You can go ahead and invite her to hang out at the current lot if you want, and we can get to know her when she gets here. Girl, you did not eat your slice of cake. She's like, cake, really? All right, so she does want to start a new career. You know what? I'm not going to get her career, and the reason is because next week, Get to Work comes out, so we can do something with her there. That'd be pretty cool. So we'll just wait for that to come out before we start a career. That way I have someone that could do something and get to work, so that'd be kind of cool. Get out of my kid's room, crazy pants. I don't be needing you in there. These lights should always be on for this room. Um, turn on this light and go ahead and turn on this light. Maybe the baby's not in the dark. It's just kind of sad. Oh, they are not getting along over there. Get along, girls. She's like, what? You want me to get along with this crazy lady? Yes. And did you invite Jem over? Because I didn't see it pop up saying that she was on her way. Maybe it did and I just missed it. Jem is already here. This is Jem? No, that's Mila. Where's Jem? Jem. Oh, Jem. Here she is. All right, so come on over here and get to know this lady. Get over here and get, this, get to know this crazy lady. Oh, that is quite the outfit. It is glorious. I love the high top socks. It just puts, pulls the, out, the outfit together. <laughs> Whoa! It's a little bit close to the waterfront. <laughs> Alright, go to me friendly and get to know her. 
You probably want to be... You want to make a friend? Oh, she's non-committal. Whoa. You want to chat with Mila? All right, well then go back over here. And you can come on over here. And you can be nice and get to know her. All right, and he's just working out, which is great because it's what he needs to do. Um, I'm contemplating buying that. I don't really know. I really don't know what I want to do yet, so I'm just kind of holding off. Did she make it over here or what? No, she's like right there. Friendly. Get to know her. Oh, you're talking to her way over there? Wow, you are talented. You want to ask Brady about his day? All right, well, come over here and ask your husband about his day then. Um, ask about his day. Where'd she go to? How far did she get? I don't think she got very far. All right, Brady, stop. Your wife's on her way, I do believe. I do believe she is on her way. No, she's not. She's like, um, I don't really want to ask my husband about his day. I talk to him all the time. I don't care. <laughs> He's like, yeah, my day is fantabulous. I've been, you know, working it all day. Work it. Work it. <laughs> don't forget to twerk it. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do we got in here? We got some... Okay. You want to buy a toy? Let's buy a robot. No, it's not. It's so expensive. Let's go by cost. Can we sort it by... There we go. Do we have a Triceratops? We do. We don't have this, though. Bam. We're going to buy that. All right. Put that in there. Perfect. You want to try for baby with him? We're totally going to do that now because you got the wish for it. Try for baby with Brady. Okay. Baby is sleeping again. Try for that baby. She's like, hey, honey, you want to, you know, get under the blankets today? He's like, yeah. <laughs> She's like, you're looking smoking hot after that good workout you did all day, all today. <laughs> oh, man. What have I got myself into? <laughs> Alright, you guys have plenty of food, so I don't really want to make a, um, a group meal, because I'm just not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it anymore. She so wants to start a new career, and I feel so bad saying no, but I just want to wait, you know? I just want to wait till get to work comes out, get to work comes out, so get to work comes out. Let's go ahead and dig this up, and let's uh, dig this up, diggy diggy hole. Dig it, dig it, hole, dig it, dig it, dig it, hole, dig it, dig it, dig it, hole. And I'm not saying ho, I'm saying hole. <laughs> Though it kind of did sound like I was saying ho, and I didn't mean it to sound like that. Sorry about that. Where's all your um whims? They just disappear for no apparent reason. They totally did. Okay, weird. Go ahead and pee like a champion, mop that up, and take a shower. Shower with the power. Did you dig up the other one? Because I totally must have missed it then if you did. Unless it just like disappeared or something. No, you totally didn't dig it up. Because you're a jerk face. You got orange topaz. Okay, you're going to go ahead and call the Geo Council about that. Alright, this one's pretty good to me. We do need to breed these frogs. Okay, get going. Goodbye. See you nevas. Nevas and yehevas. Never have you ever. All right, go ahead and open that up. <sighs> All right, let's breed this frog with the leaf frog. All right, looks like we got a leaf frog. That's fine. All right. And then I'm going to have you go home when you're done. And I think she wants to be funny with Jem. We could do that. Um, I think that she was the one who was working on the garden, I do believe. Or was it him? I can't remember. Alright, Orange Topaz is composed primarily of Fozone with something. <coughs> oh man, sorry about that. With a good bit of Celium. Okay, Fozone or Celium is what we're looking for. Um, Fozone and Celium. Fozone and... There's Fozone, and we're looking for Celium. Celium. Yep. All right. So we can go ahead and just sell this out because we don't need to send it in. We'll sell it for 15 simoleons. And out of that, he got Gonk, which I do believe we have Gonk. I believe he's right there. Yes, he is. We're going to go ahead and sell this one for 25 more simoleons. Bam. We made some monies. 
Money, 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 money. I think they both have worked on the gardening. He's at a level one, and what's she at? A level two. Okay, so it looks like maybe she's been working on this a little bit more. Why don't you go ahead and evolve? Evolve. Um. All right, none of those are ready. Then you can go ahead and water. You can go ahead and harvest all. You can go ahead and, let's see, weed. And that should take care of that. And you, my friend, are going to come on in here. Go ahead and use. Go ahead and take a shower. And I'm going to go ahead and let you grab a slice of that cake. Grab a slice of the cake. And Catalina is doing okay. All right. Her hard work has paid off, and her pear tree has increased in quality. Nice. Niceness. All right. And she wants to meet someone new. That's fine. I'm not really too worried about that. I love how I just have all this stuff set out here, but um, at one point or another, we are going to go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and put all this stuff on shelves. But until I know that I've finished a collection, it's really hard. The fish, the only reason they're on the wall is because they have to go on a wall. Um, I, otherwise, I can't, I don't have like a place to put them. So um, that's kind of why I've put them up. But that's really the only reason why. Other than that, I haven't really done it for any other reason. All right, you work in 10 hours. That means when you get done eating, you need to go to El Bedoros. And I don't know if she's pregnant or not, but we'll find out soon, I'm sure. All right, let me go ahead and speed her up while she tends to our garden. It's very nice of you to tend to my El Gardinos. I do need to take care of my Gardinos. All right, so baby is probably hungry, so we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Tend to the little booger. She needs some food, I'm sure. And probably some socialization. Another thing that really bothers me is I can't see what she needs. Like, I feel like I should be able to see what my child needs. Or at least, like, hover over her and it says, like, you know, in the daycare career, it should say something like that. Like, if we can't click on the baby, I understand. But at least give me the function to be able to hover over her and know what she needs. Um, so I don't have to do every single little thing every single time. I mean, you can tell when she's stinky, obviously, because it's like reeking diaper over there. But otherwise, you can't really tell when she's like hungry or whether she's just upset because she's so like socially um, deprived or what it is. So in a way, I kind of wish I would add that feature. But in a way, um, having them the way they are kind of makes them a bit of a challenge, which I guess could be fun at some points. But most of the time, it's not the funnest thing in the world. All right, now she's weekend diaper, so go ahead and change that thing. And you know what? Before you do all this, why don't you go ahead and change the diaper before you do all that so that she doesn't get, like, all upset. And then bounce, then kuat, then cuddle. Got to do all this again. Then make a silly face, and then rock her, and then she should be okay. And then, oh, man, I want to put this stuff away. But I'm not going to keep these. I can tell you that much. We're going to sell those for 10 simoleons. I don't know why you want trash bags, but they tend to the plants or whatever. Whatever. All right, go ahead and open this. Go ahead and put these in here. We'll go ahead and put these in here. And these. And this. And this. All right, so at least you have stuff for the family for a long time. I'm not going to do a garden forever. I'm going to get one of each plant and then I'm going to move on. I'm not going to, I mean, I'll keep those plants going, but that's about it. I'm not going to continue on getting more plants. So one of each is good. So that's pretty much what we have right now. I do want to get rid of this one though. I wish they couldn't take care of it. I might just let it die off. I don't know how I would let that happen, but I know you can't delete it. I've tried. <laughs> it won't let you. You actually have to take care of it. Okay, so go ahead and take care of that, and then I'm going to let you come over here. You're going to go ahead and grab a slice of this cake as well, and then you're going to go to bed. And I know that you slept in late, but this way you'll get on a more regular schedule. And the baby's taken care of, so we don't really have to worry about that, so it's good. And I think she's pregnant. I think we're going to find out here soon that she's pregnant. It's almost Catalina's birthday. Woo woo. Oh, snip, snap, polywap. Give a dog a bone. All right, let's go ahead and change that dirty diaper again. Go ahead and breastfeed her and bounce at her and coo at her and cuddle. 
I make a silly that. face and rock. And that should take care of her. Brady, you're taking care of yourself, boy. You know what you got to do. Um, you have work in three hours, so let me get you to take care of your needs before you have to go. And why don't you go ahead and grab a bit of eggs and toast. I really hope that comes in an update with get to work, the eat leftovers. Oh my goodness, it would make my life so much better. I disapprove of not having that feature at this very moment in time. It just drives me up a wall and I just want to punch somebody in the teeth. So... <laughs> I think that um, adding that in would be like the best thing they could do right now. It would make me very happy, I can tell you that much. And we have bills coming today, so that's why I didn't spend money on a logic table or a chess table, whatever. Um, because I knew that they were going to have bills coming in and I didn't want to waste all of their money on something that um, they might not need right away. Um, and that they could get, they could take care of their needs somewhere else. And so that's why I decided to wait on that and just hold off and let um, and let the bills come before I decided to do that. Because bills are very important. We can't be having a baby here with, uh, with no electricity or water. So it's just how it goes. Okay, can you clean up the plates? Because that would be amazing. And I'm going to let you go ahead and take your shower. She is a little bit tired. So you know what? Before you take your shower, actually... Let me go ahead and let you sleep for a little bit, and then when you get up, you can go ahead and uh, clean the sink, and then you can take a shower. And I'm sure by then the baby is going to need your your help, and he is about to go off to work in a couple of minutes, so we aren't going to have to worry about anything there. Good night, my friend. And she's up. All right, Brady's off to work. That's fine. She does need some fun, so I'm going to go ahead and let her channel surf while the baby's sleeping. And she does need to take care of the garden again. Um, I see some of the plants are ready to be evolved. So we'll go whoop, We'll go ahead and take care of that. That plant just needs to be weeded. Alright, we can go and weed it, I guess. Don't really matter to me. I just want to keep her fun up. And um, this is a good way to do it. All right, how is he doing on um, performance-wise? Pretty good. I mean, he's got his workout completed, so that's good. Um, and it is going up, as you can see. It's just not going up as fast as I wish it was. But um, we'll get there. We'll get there someday. All right, speed this sucker up. Go ahead and take care of that garden because the baby's awake now. And you know she's going to have to go ahead and take care of her real quick. Um... Nothing yet. She's just the weeds weed this plant, I guess. I guess that's the only one. Alright, so go ahead and use and then you can go ahead and eat um some food if you really want to. I'm actually gonna go ahead and let you mop that up. You keep the house clean while he's away and that'll be nice. That'll be nice. Because she doesn't really have a job, so that's kind of her job is to help him take care of the house while he's not here and he makes the money. She takes care of the kids and kind of cleans up the house for him, and that's really nice. Um, not that she has to, it's not like that's what I believe all women should do. I'm just believing that, you know, it's her, the side of her weight because he has to go make all the money. She could at least help around the house. Um, so I don't think that's like a bad thing to say. All right, it's rock. Okay, take care of that baby. And then you're going to go ahead and come in here and you are going to go ahead and eat it is 12, so go ahead and eat the last piece of cake. We will get rid of that from Brady's birthday. And that'll be nice. Then we won't have to worry about it anymore. Whose phone is ringing? Dominic Hunter was calling to chat. Sure, we can answer. Did she throw that plate in her kid's room? That is disgusting. Clean that up. She's like, what? You're making me clean it? Yeah. So gross. All right. I really don't know what to have her do. So I guess we could have her go fishing for a bit while the baby's just napping. And I know that's really not the most appropriate thing to do. But um, the baby's napping. So I'll be over here watching the baby. I promise. I won't, I won't let the baby get all upset. I promise to use... And I think she's going to find out she's pregnant, to be honest. Whoa. I didn't mean to do that. 
Someone's at my door. I'm not really worried about it, though. I wanted to see what this was. You're missing your family. She caught an apple. I don't know how you're missing your family when you were just taking care of your kid like five seconds ago, but okay. You say so. All right, you caught a perch. And he brought home 864 simoleons today. Simoleons. All right, go ahead and... I thought that was the last piece of cake, but I guess there's two more. <laughs> I'm so crazy. I thought that was really the last piece of cake. And I was thinking as she was eating, I was thinking, you know, Brady probably should have eaten the last piece of his birthday, his own birthday cake. And then I was like, well, whatever. It doesn't really matter because she's already eating it. And, like, he... It's his wife, so he would give it to her, but... Because he's, like, a sweet guy. But then I was like, wait. When I clicked on the picture, I was like, wait, that's still in there? All right, so go ahead and take care of your daughter. If I came home and my husband or wife or whatever, if I had one, was out there, way over there, fishing, and they didn't have, like, a baby monitor, I would literally tell them, push them in the river, and, like, never let them back in my house. <laughs> oh, man. But this is The Sims. <laughs> Sims have incredible hearing. They can hear when the baby is crying from a million miles away. <laughs> but in The Sims 3, like, you had to call a babysitter when you left the lot, but now they don't have babysitters. So it's like either your baby is here and you're, like, in the open space or your baby is not here and, like, you're in the, like, the um oblivion. It's just weird. It's really weird. All right. You probably need to go ahead and work out, and you do. So we're going to go ahead and box a couple of times. I was like, what happens? All right, how is she doing on fish? Does she have any new ones? Do you have any new fishy dudes? Let's go ahead and put the walls up. Um, What is this? Angelfish? We already got that. So let's go ahead and sell it for 15 This is perch, and I think either this one or this one. Yeah, it's perch. All right, minnow is this one. Oh, oh snap, oh snap. Bam, I told you we were having a baby. She's pregnant. I told you. And now she's going to run over and tell Mr. Brady Bunch over here. He's, like, going to be all thrilled. He's going to be thrilled. <laughs> yeah, we've got all these because this is a minnow, and minnow is right there. So we do have it. Mm, snap. I forgot I sold that, and I didn't mean to. I should have put it in here so we could make some fried fish and stuff. Because that's really important. Tinos. You just reached level 7? Oh, my goodness, boy. You know, I don't understand it. Why do they run right over now and tell the big news? Like, it wasn't like that before. They must have patched that in. It must have been a patch. A patch, you do. Now you shouldn't feel alone because the baby is inside you. <laughs> you should feel very happy. You should never feel away from you, miss you should never feel like you're missing your family when your baby is inside you. Even knowing I can understand like she misses her baby. Is she really gonna work out? Like is this is this like a thing? Is it like work, working on her athletics? Does she even have athletics? Oh yeah, fitness. It's not even working on it. Girl, stop it. Go eat. Open this up and grab yourself a bit of salad. She's like, all right, goodbye. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done with my workout. <laughs> it only took her five seconds. <laughs> all right, when you're done with all that, go to bed because you're exhausted. He's like all excited, like he's excited about the baby and the having his first child and getting a good workout and feeling energized. He's just so happy. I'm just so happy for him. All right, let's so go ahead and box again because you do need to finish that off. And then we will go ahead and we'll let you eat as well. You can eat some of the salad as well. We'll just get rid of some of this food, hopefully. And when you're done, I'm just going to send you to bed because you don't really have anything else to do. And I'm sure the baby's going to get upset in just a five seconds, so we're going to have to take care of the baby. But um, mom can do that because he has to go to work tomorrow again, I do believe. Let me look. Nope, he doesn't actually, so he could take care of the baby if she cries. If she cries, we will, but if not, then I'm fine with it. I don't really, you know, it's not a big deal. All right, are you done with this? You are. Okay, go ahead and stop and go take care of the other needs. 
I'm playing this on fast speed because it's kind of tedious. They just do the same old, same old things. Um, when we have more going on, I won't play on fast speed. But for right now, it's just like either he's working out or she's fishing or they're taking care of the baby. <laughs> All right, forget about this. Go ahead and come on in here and change that dirty diaper again. Girl, you got like so many dirty diapers today. I feel like you have forgotten that um, you need to stop going in your pants. <laughs> oh, man. If I had to change that many dirty diapers in a day, I mean, I would love it. I would love having a child, but I would not love all those dirty diapers. That's a lot of dirty diapers. All right, go to sleep. I'm sure it's that many, but I don't know because, like, I don't have kids. I'm sure you guys know that, that I don't have kids. So, yeah. Okay. Probably someday I'll be knee-deep in poo for my own kids' dirty diapers. So, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll, we'll stop there. <laughs> so much going on in this little Donkey Kong. Oh, my goodness. Did you tell me to break my shower? I hate you so much right now, Brady. You make me angry. <laughs> you make me so angry right now. Oh, yay. It's Catalina's birthday. All right. So we are going to need to buy a birthday cake. -y -do. Oh, no. Not a birthday cake. Uh, because the babies don't actually age up with a birthday cake. A birthday cake. A birthday, birthday, birthday cake. <laughs> um, I don't know why I am so much in song today. Like, I've been singing everything. I swear to goodness. But, um... We do need to age her up, but I'm going to wait until Brady wakes up and she gets some food in her tummy tum tums because she is starvacy mode. So go ahead and go for that. We are moving fast. We're taking care of a fa kid in fast speed. It, sometimes I sit down and I'm like on those boring days when I have nothing to do or like I'm like waiting for something to render um, for like male peas or something. And I'm like, man, I wish I had like that, that llama speed right now I could just press the button and be in like the next year <laughs> the next year I don't think I wanted to go that far into the future but um sometimes I would like to move a little bit faster in life all right go ahead and pay the bills and you're done and get the mail and your Mr. Husbandy do is gonna have to uh take care of the of the shower. Our bills are 708 simoleons. I don't think that's too bad. Honestly, well, I mean, for what we have, it's kind of bad. <laughs> kind of real bad, but that's okay. All right, so when you get up, you're going to go ahead and you're going to grab a bit of the cake before, you know, your baby ages today because you are pretty hungry. And what does Mama Bear need? She needs some fun, so why doesn't she go ahead and just uh, watch some cooking? He didn't even get a full day's rest. It's kind of weird. But that's okay. We're going to go ahead and age up the baby when he's done eating. And then I'll go ahead and get him to take care of the shower. And mom can go ahead and do what she's got to do. You know, I always wondered, does, like, the baby get forced to age up? Because I have done this before where I just kind of, um, I make them go in here. Not that they really care, but they should. Um, but anyways... So I made it, I made like them wait it out and see if the baby would actually age up. And the baby never actually aged up. So is there like a time frame? Like if at midnight or something, they don't age up or something? Like I don't even know. Like I don't even know what happens. Is he in your way? What happens? Why can't you age her up? The giraffe is in your way? Like you've been taking care of her all day and night. You can't even like, can you bounce her? What? <laughs> I'm so confused. So confused. All right, well, I guess we just move the giraffe then for right now for five seconds so you can age her up because it's like the weirdest thing in my life. Go ahead and do it. Oh, cause did she just, oh, she just stepped aside. Gotcha. Yay, she got dad's hair. I'm so cute. She's so cute. All right, so I need to go ahead and um, randomize this. And I'm going to pull it up on my phone. <sighs> Oh, man. So much going on. All right. Let's go ahead and pull up Sims 4 Legacy. I should have had this ready. I didn't realize that it was this close to her birthday, though. So, um, I don't know. Legacy Trait Generator. All 
I think is what it's called. Yep. Yepperinos, that's what it is. Yepperinos. I could do it on my game um, by going into like the origin online thing, but I don't know if you guys would be able to see it anyways, so it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um, so I'm just going to do it this way and hope that... Um, hope that things go okay. If not, I'll have to do it on that instead and see if you guys can see it. But I don't know if you guys would be able to. So that's why I'm not, like, pushing it. It would be a lot faster on there. I can tell you that much. Alright, I might have to. What is it? Shift. Shift tab? No. Control tab. No. Mm. Hmm. Maybe I can't. All right, hold on. I think I got it. Random trait generator. There we go. Okay, so I have to get this done. Um, and Brady's traits are active, bro, and slob. Caitlin's are art lover, creative, and family oriented. So we have to do that. And if you guys don't know what you go to, it's really easy. You just have to put in their traits, and then it, like, generates the child traits. It's really cool. So, let's see. Brady is our number one. No. Oh, what? It's so sad sounding. What the heck? It's not putting in the trait. A problem occurred. Ugh. All right, hold on. Let me pause the video while I do this. Okay, so I had to go out to my desktop to do it because it wouldn't work on my phone. I don't know if it's, like, the site or what, but it kept saying that the page was not responding um, or an error had occurred and it had to be restarted, and then I would try to restart it, and it would just pretty much do the same thing. So what I got was Artistic, and I got Artistic Prodigy with it, which is really cool because normally I get, like, things that don't actually match up, but this is perfect. So, and I actually like that one, so I don't mind it for her. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. Dad, your phone is ringing. Who's calling? Would you like to come over? No. All right, she's becoming a child today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead and repair this. Mom, you can come over here and mop this up. And what do you need to do? We need to go ahead and build you a bedroom because we don't have one. And this is going to stay the uh, baby room. And the reason it's staying baby room is because she's about to have another baby. So why change this up when I can just go ahead and, uh, when I can just go ahead and, um, just make a new room for the, for her. Okay. So that's going to stay there. And, um, I really think we should make two bedrooms now because with the kid, we really should have two bedrooms. So let's do this. Let's see if we can build two bedrooms. I don't know if we can, but we're going to try. Um, let's see. Go in. Mm. Okay. And then... Let's just go in and split it like this. That uses, like, all my money. <laughs> so sad. All right, let's see, delete that. All right, and delete this one as well. And then just go ahead and delete this. All right, the reason I did that is we're just gonna build her a bedroom at this moment, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, and I think that's a plenty big enough bedroom. Really, it doesn't even need to be that big, so we could actually just go ahead and move it in. I mean, she doesn't really need that big of a room. 
Um, we've already got a toy box that can fit in her bedroom. So that's fine. The reason I had it in here is because when the toddlers come, we're going to want something in the, there for the babies. Um, and I'm hoping before the end of this, there will be toddlers. But you know what? I'm not going to promise nothing. Nothing. I ain't promising nothing, boo-boo. Um, let's just see. What do I want to do here? Because this is like an issue. Okay, let's put this in her room. This can stay out here. I don't care. I don't even care. Alright. Um. I need to move some stuff around so we can get a, um, a door in here. So we're going to move mom and dad's bedroom bed over like that. That'll work. Go ahead and grab this door. Put it there. Perfect. I need to go ahead and buy a bed. Um, let's just go down here. And... Um, mom and dad have a pretty good bed. It's an energy of four. What's this energy? A four. It's not really that much better, is it? <clears throat> Let's just go with, um, this color. <clears throat> I think that's really cute. We'll do this next to her bed so that she can, uh, have a light. Um, she is going to need, I don't know what we're going to need for right. Oh, she's going to need the art, the art thing. Um, the art table. So let's see. Kids. Um, she's going to need this. So we're going to do it in like a, a woodsy color. And that should be pretty good. And I'm going to take the flooring and throw it in here. And for her, we're going to do a nice clean color for the walls. If I could do like flowers on the wall, that would be... Or like, yeah, flowers on the wall. Um, no, that doesn't really match. Problem is, I can't ever find anything with the flowers that matches what I like. Um, is there any other patterns that, like, would make sense of this? I mean, this... No, not really. Mm -mm, I don't really think so. Um, I'm gonna grab another one of these light lamps and put it in here so I can see a little bit better. Can't really see that well. Uh, let's go back up here and see what I can find for her. I hate it because all this stuff doesn't really match. Like, that's too childish for her. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's too babyish. Bish bosh. Um. Uh, this would be okay. It's probably the best I've seen so far, to be honest. Really don't want to go with it though. I just think it's like too too old for her. I really don't know. I really don't know what to do. I hate these wallpapers. And we need more. We really need more. <sighs> Alright, so we're just going to go with plain then because there's nothing I can do about it. Um, it's like the same color, which is pretty cool. But I'm going to go with that for her room. Um, is there anything else she's going to need? She's going to need creativity skill, really, for art, the artistic thing. So I think we're pretty okay. So I'm going to stick with my 131 simoleons. All right, she needs to become inspired. So we do need to do that for her. All right. When mom and dad are done, you can go ahead and take care of this. And mom, when you're done mopping up, why don't you go ahead and clean up these dishes? And dad, when you're done, let's see. You need to... Ooh, I bet you, you need to go over here and collect some stuff. So go ahead and dig that up. You can go ahead and dig that up. And you can go ahead and dig that up. Alright, and then we're going to get her to take a shower until she's inspired. And we'll go from there. And mom, you are going to go ahead and actually weed, water, um, harvest all. Let's see. Yeah, that should be good. Alright, your homework. Why don't you go ahead and do your homework real quick? 
while you've got the chance. All right, and you want to chat with your mom, and you want to talk about art. We could do that, but let's get you done with your homework, and then we'll get you into the shower after that. All right, so you guys are headed outside, and I'm going to go ahead and let her pee like a champion, and she's be inspired. So take a thoughtful shower, and that'll get you inspired. And how are you doing over there, Mr. Brady? Mr. Brady Bunch is what I'm going to call him. You found Rose, which is a gem. So why don't you go ahead and call the Geo, the Geo, the Geo Council about that? All right, you found a fossil, so you can go ahead and extract it. He was like, "Wait, I'm not gonna run to this." <laughs> Too funny. Too funny, honey. All right, and what do you need? You found another fossil? Okay. You could use some... Mm, I guess you could watch some TV. Just channel surf, I guess. And you could do the same thing. And you... Finish that homework, girlfriend. She's like, it's taking me forever. All right. Fozone and Perillium. I feel like we've we looked for Fozone last time, but I think it was something else. Fozone and Perillium. Fozone. But we don't have Prillium, so he can go ahead and send that in to the Geo Council. Alright, and we got the fossilized udder. I don't think we have it yet. Egg, tiny T Rex arms. No, we don't. Okay, so this one is different. So there we go. And go ahead and extract that one. The tiny T-Rex arms is that one. So we're going to go and sell it for 45 Bam. All right. Finally, homework is completed. Woohoo! She didn't have to harvest any of them. Oh, she hasn't gotten to that part. Man, it's taking you a long time to get to there. To the points of being able to harvest. That's right. Whatever. Go ahead and do what you got to do, girl. All right. And then we need to paint two pictures while inspired. So we will do that. All right, let's see. What's the matter with you? Why are you so uncomfortable? Unpleasant surroundings. I don't know what the unpleasant surrounding is. All right, go ahead and sell this. And I think we've got enough of all this stuff in there, so I'm just going to go ahead and sell it for some money because we're getting low. And we need some money, 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 money. Money. All right. So that should be pretty good. All right. You are inspired. Yes. Okay. We're going to go ahead and let you draw shapes. And mom, you might as well go in here, use this, take a shower, and go ahead and um, grab a serving. And then you can go ahead and clean out the spoiled food. And dad, what do you need to do? He's like, nothing. I need to do nothing. I'm fine right where I am. All right, girlfriend, go. She's like, but I don't want us. But I don't care. <laughs> I don't know what this is for. If you guys know what it's for, let me know. Because I'm like really confused about it. A lot confused about it, actually. A lot confused. You know that thing that they can play, that musical instrument? I don't even know where it is. I've never even used it. I have no idea where to even find it. I would guess it's in, like, activities and skills. No idea. I'm so confused of where it is. Is it this? No. I have no idea. And I know I have it. I just don't know where it is. So, if you guys know where it is, let me know. You know that thing that they show that you can play with? I don't even know. I don't know what it's under, so... I would have thought activities and skills. But I really don't see it. Unless I'm just, like, blind and it's, like, right in front of my face. Which wouldn't surprise me. 
What is this? Future cube. I don't think it is. I'm gonna have to look it up and see what it's called. Because I got like the tiki flaming, or the flaming tiki bar, but I don't know where the other thing is. The thing that you play music on. Unless it's like The Sims 3, but I could have sworn it was The Sims 4 as well. I don't know. It's like hidden or something and you have to like unlock it. Like, I have no idea. Is it like under light, maybe? Lighting? Oh, it's this, isn't it? The laser show? I think it is. I think it's this thing. Let me know if that's it, guys. If you guys know what I'm talking about. You get it when you like pre-order. I've never used it, so I probably should. I should probably look into it. <laughs> I get stuck in my ways. I don't know. Anyways, so my time is up. I think that is a pretty good place to... St Are you freaking kidding me right now? <laughs> I think that's a pretty good place to stop. We're expecting the next baby, so Caitlin will be having next baby. Cross your fingers, it's a boy, because I don't really want to have a ton of kids. Um, the next bedroom, the next room we're going to be building is the bedroom, and the baby will sleep here. If it's a boy, when the baby ages up, it'll be the last baby we have, and um, what we'll do is we will go ahead and um, we'll just put his bed in this room, and we'll change it as he ages, and she'll just stay in that room. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. So again, if you guys liked it, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, in the description below, there is a donation link if you'd like to donate to my channel. Also down below is a whoa, <laughs> is uh, links to my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, and my Twitch. So if you want to check out any of those or any of the other links that are down there, please feel free. And I will talk to you guys in my very next one. Thanks very much for watching.